and happy Sunday to everybody. Uh, I'm RJ, and we've got Jack with us today. How you doing, Jack? Doing well. How you, how you guys doing? Hi, friends. Hey, uh, RJ. How you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm having a having a good day. It's a nice. Uh, it's not too hot out. Same here in Southern California. It's just another great day. You know, it's sunny, no rain, no clouds, nothing. Perfect surf. Yep, yep. That that's California in a in a microcosm, I think. Right. It's not as bad as people say on the internet. <laughs> well, I always heard it was like, you know, we had a weatherman in St. Louis who said he loved doing weather in St. Louis because you never knew what it was going to be. It was like, you know, it was changing all the time. He's like, the bo most boring job in the world he could think of was to be a weatherman in San Diego because it's like, it's 82 again. We do we get random weather, though. Like the other night we got a, a flood storm warning at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning where like an inch of water came down out of nowhere and surprised Ooh. us. So. That's surprising to us. It's just random. It wasn't reported at all, so it was strange. It was like a tropical storm, I guess. Yeah. I got so what do you have there? We're building Legos. We are building Legos. Yeah, just kind of easing into it. This I, I saw this at Walmart because, you know, they're they're clearing those shelves off for uh, Christmas mm -hmm. to come up. And I found this on Amazon for a lot more. <laughs> so I was like, I, I grabbed it while I could because uh, it, was, it was fairly cheap at Walmart right now. Uh, this is the 1966 Batman classic TV series Batmobile. So you got the red trim, the George Barris body design. Uh, you got the, the blue costume with the yellow circle, and you got the Cesar Romero Joker complete with the mustache. Uh, I like it. I like that. Fun. Looks like it shoots out some. Has a little trunk cannon or a hood cannon there. So, and, and you got some Star Wars here. Yeah, I went with the uh, Star Wars Mandalorian theme uh lego set today it's a uh, set number seven five two nine nine 276 pieces it looks like it has a uh, man laureate on some kind of uh a speeder bike yep speeder and looks like another kind of speeder and looks like a small building it's a little set today a little theme set i, I like it i almost got um obi-wan kenobi's house i was going to build that because uh keep with the star wars theme and then I was like, this was just right under it. I'm like, if that's the right price, I'm grabbing it. And I scanned it, and it was. I'm like, it's done. This, by the way, is uh, set number 76188. Uh, it's got 345 pieces. And if you like this set uh, or you think you want to have it in your own collection, the link to it is in the description below. This is a, it's a Critical Blast affiliate link, so it doesn't cost you any more, but it, you know, it, we get a referral fee. So, and with the channel coming up for renewal, uh, the, the dot com is like, yeah, maybe I should start telling people, go ahead and use those super chats and, and ads and everything. Welcome, friends. Um, we got BAP2 here and Mr. Yanafui. Hey, our best friends here. Holy Lego Nightmare. Yes, Mr. Yanafui. BAP2, BAP uh, small chat today. So, I want to ask you how, how you're doing. I know the job search was going on there. Uh, I hope it's uh, picking up on that front. So I also, I got this set at my local Walmart also, but it wasn't on sale at the time, but it should be, um, if not, I think it was like um, just under $30 for this set. Oh, so. that's not, that's not, that's about what this was, was $30. Yep. Yep. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I uh, was like, yeah. See, that's yep. a great deal. So you almost have a hundred more pieces than I do. So yeah, you got a great deal. Absolutely. I'm going to get into it. Did, did you check out the uh, website that we found last time? I did check out the website. I'm waiting to hear how your order goes. <laughs> See, I'm waiting to hear how your order goes. <laughs> now, uh, what's going to call it? Uh, so this one's actually taped. I like that. So they must have appreciated it and maybe stopped gluing things so much. I don't know. I appreciate that it's taped and I don't have to take, uh, you know, glue apart and rip a box apart. Look at this. I appreciate that. So it must Same be a nicer thing. set. M mine is also taped. Yeah. So that means I can... Uh... This is not a weapon, YouTube. Right. It's called a box knife for a reason. I'm using it on a box. Simple instructions. Bada bing, bada boom. No boxes were harmed in the making of Same this video. Thing. Oh. I went out of focus, looks like. There it is. Bam. Yeah, the box opens up a lot more nicely. So we got. So I grew up watching. Um, was that a movie or was that a TV series? Uh, they were your theme Batman uh, Lego set. Because I remember seeing a movie. There was with a those movie. Characters. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I, yeah. I, that was a great movie. It was. Uh, I don't know what episode. I don't know. I don't know how many movies they made, but I remember they only made fun. the one. Oh, okay, uh, so yeah, using all the same cast. Um, it was a theatrical okay. release, but I think it was right after the second season because the third season is where they introduced Batgirl, and there was no Batgirl in the movie. And then the third season was the last season. So I remember a bat helicopter. I remember a Batmobile. Was there a bike and sidecar also? Yes, there was. Was there any other, uh, um, you know, Batmobiles in that movie? Because I remember that I think there was a grappling hook. Like he had a, he used a lot of uh, utilities. Yeah, the movie made uh, made out with a lot of bat equipment, but there was only ever one Batmobile. They had obviously various versions of it for filming purposes. Uh, right. The 1966 um, Ford Futura that uh, George Barris had tricked out. Uh, by the way, it looks very much like a Buick Electra, which is what uh, Alfred Pennyworth is driving in the Pennyworth series, which is also red with black trim. So it really looks like the uh, like he's driving what's going to become the Batmobile in later years. Cool. So this comes with stickers. So we'll have some sticker fun here. See, I didn't see much stickers here, so I love that. Yeah, stickers, are, stickers are tough for me. We have three bags. So we'll start with bag number one. And set these other two off to the side. All right, same here. Three bags. So there's an example of bag one. We have the speeder bike. Bag two is at the little hut. And bag three is going to be the other speeder bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the okay. 66 series, there was the Batmobile, the Batcopter. There was a Bat boat. And uh, the Bat Cycle with the sidecar that separated. Uh, and then Batgirl had her own cycle as well. Oh, hello. We uh, welcome our friend Sarah is in the chat. Hi, Sarah. Oh, yes, that's right. The shark repellent spray. I remember that. Yes. It was packed in the back of the bat Batcopter. They had to pass it down the, the rope ladder to him. Ooh, Labap 2 found a custom Lego set for the Eclipse Star Destroyer. That sounds nice. That sounds real nice. Ooh, yeah. I wonder how. I wonder what the scale is and how big the um, Lego set for that because it, it's just, the Star Destroyer, um, the Ultimate Collector set, is huge. Well, I don't know if it's an Ultimate Collector set. So, have you seen the new um, uh, Slave One coming out? I, I, no, wait, no, not the Slave 1, my bad. Not the Slave 1, the uh, gunship. What, Boba Fett Starship or the, the new gunship? The new gunship coming out, I believe uh, it's out now. August, it's supposed to be August August 1st, but I haven't seen the releases um, yet. I could be wrong what the release date was. I think I heard about it. So I'm thinking about picking it up uh, at my local Lego store, getting those credits. Do you buy your Legos at the a Lego store at all? And try to get those points. I, you know what? I've got a VIP card. Um, I've been into the store a couple of times, but it's like hundreds of miles away from me now. Oh wow! So it's a journey. Yeah, and even when I was, you know, living uh, in and near St. Louis, it was you know an hour drive to get there, half hour drive maybe, which wasn't terrible, but it wasn't like you know, hey, let's pop in the car and go to the Lego store and walk around. Right. Hmm. So we got our first minifig here. Nice. Uh, two faces. Do we want smirking Batman or smiling Batman? Eh, even... I forget about that. I forget that sometimes my character or minifig has two faces. I only, only use one. Yeah, I'm a dummy. There's a pull tab rip on this side. And I cut open the box. <laughs> Trust Lego. They make it Trust easy them. on us. They don't want kids using scissors, <laughs> especially big ones. Okay, so there is the Adam West Batman. In, in his That's a cool movie. figure, dude. I like the helmet. That's a nice. <laughs> that's nice. So it makes me wonder. Because they're bringing out Lego, uh, you know, all the old themes and stuff. Like, why is Lego bringing out Batman? Is there a Batman movie coming out? It's a good question. Um, I mean, they're always 
they know Batman sells, but you know, they've been doing their Lego Batman for so long. And then they do, you know, the Batman Justice League stuff. But nothing for 66. So I don't know why they would um, feel the need to do that. Oh, I already messed up. I need to slow down. And they're going to start me right off with a sticker. Wait a second. Oh, okay. I'm not there yet. They're showing me the completed version, and I'm like, let's get to it. So are you working on the car? How, how many little uh, Lego cars do you have? Because you built the Ghost Rider the other episode, correct? I've got the Ghost Rider car, and yes. I've got the uh, Bat Boat and the Penguin Boat that kind of came together as a little battle scene thing. Oh, that'd be kind of cool to see one day, the Penguin Boat. You want to see it? Yeah. I've got it right here. Hmm. And we're currently working on the Mandalorian right now. Da, da, da. The Lego guy. I guess it's it not, better. Uh, it's nothing huge. It's... Oh, that's hilarious. Rubber ducky. I remember that. That that was my favorite line, I think, in the um in, in, in the the Batfleck film. The the Justice League version where mm -hmm. Alfred's talking to him and says, you know, makes one makes one nostalgic for the days of wind up exploding penguins, doesn't it, sir? <laughs> just a just a hint that there's been a lot of Batman history in that universe that we never got to see. Yeah, Batman's awesome. He's uh, one of my favorite character uh, superheroes. Oh, I guess hero. I don't know if he's super because he doesn't have powers, but I know he's True. a hero. That, that's you know what always made him appeal to me when I was a kid. Uh, and I'm talking kindergarten. I was I was hanging you know signs up in my bedroom on the top bunk to to the Bat Cave with an arrow pointing this way, and then I would slide down the pole uh, from the top bunk to the floor like I was jumping down the bat poles. Interesting. I was a bit of a weird kid. Because huh. that's I what kind of um, I, I don't really like about some of uh, the superheroes because they're like godlike characters, and it seems like for like a godlike character, like what diversity do they have? Like what challenges do they have? If they all they have to do is try a little harder. Yeah. Oh, th that's interesting. So the Baby Yoda character. Uh, the whole body is one unique mold. And it's tiny, and his head is one mold. So that's the unique character right there for Lego. Oh, and yeah. It I've feels seen him do that with rubbery. babies before. Like the eel? What? This is it's like a soft Lego. I've never well, seen that before. Is he squishy? Yeah, like the ears are squishy. Can I squish his ear? Yeah. See, his ears bendy. And his hands, uh, this brick feels more tough, but that's a weird Lego. This is an interesting, yeah, he's uh, in your face. Interesting way to flatten the top of this, and make it smooth. They're doing it with the shields, and uh, and they mesh at the corners. I'm not so the first bag thing. was good. So I went and had breakfast this morning for before doing the show and get a, have a couple of coffee. I still have to finish. So bada bing, bada boom. Maybe go work on the truck a little bit later. But right now, I'm building Legos. I I stood my coffee here. I'm trying not to elbow it off the table while I'm doing this. Oh, good point. Put it way over here. I get that uh, good old Seven Eleven coffee. <laughs> Okay, there's one more shield buried in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to build a spinner. That is cool. There it is. Speaking of cute. We got that in there. Now we're going to pop a base into the bottom of this. This is going to probably go on that spinner right here. So I have a new unopened set 
that I'll, I'll be giving away to uh, my subscribers. So I think Sarah is a subscriber. And uh, we'll see. We'll see, Sarah. We'll see. Because I heard uh, maybe you live in a different country. And I'll check out stuff. I'll do some research. All right. So whatever this is, it spins. Yeah. But, uh, what? What? Do you have a you a short URL for your channel yet? Or are you still using the, the long version? Because I know at a certain point uh, they let you yeah. give it a nickname. I think so. I think so. Let me go check that. I'll, I'll check that out in a minute. Yeah. At that point. At that point, uh, if I if I had international subscribers and I'm trying to get them stuff, I would just talk to them about PayPal and um, <laughs> the amount that Lego sets worth, and they go buy it themselves. If they wanted to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to save on shipping. I was like, I I, I wish I could just get it to your door. Well, but here's just another option, um, and and I've, I've done this before. If you if you get their address, yeah, just buy it from the Amazon that's in their country. Yeah, that's a great point. I'm I'm. I'm not that tech savvy, but it was kind of clicking towards that. But then I would, then I'd end up with, with an extra Lego set that I guess I give out to again to another set of subscri another another subscriber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or or eBay, you know, <laughs> get your money back for the one you uh for, for the one you just shipped out. Okay, so it's time to lay a sticker on. You know, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about eBay. Okay, so that goes like that. Uh -huh. Hey, that's not a bad sticker placement. Oh, cool. And then this so like goes this. on here. So this looks like it's going to be some kind of a display base. No way. That's kind of cool, dude. That's a really nice set. I didn't realize it was like that. Yeah, like I said, this is like 50 bucks, 55 bucks on Amazon. And I got it at Walmart for 30 So I was very, very, very happy. Well, on the box, does it just say, does it show that it comes on display? Uh, you know what? It does on the back of the box. Oh, on the back. Duh. So, you know, you can have the play set or you can, you know, just put it on here and there you go. Um, oh, and there's like, I, I can see on the back of the box too that there's a secondary Joker face. There's the, uh oh, I'm caught face. <laughs> okay, so now we're actually going to start building the car. Let me start with the chassis and gonna, this is cool. we're going to slip this into this slot here and then move it forward so that the technic pin clips into there and we have two of these red ones that are going to go in the rear side let's see what am i missing here oh yeah, that's gonna be a nice Lego car, but nope. it's interesting. Yeah, I'm 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 excited for your set and this set over here. I don't know why I have a lot of Starship sets right now. I guess that's all uh, you know Star Wars themes. They don't really have any cars. They don't need cars. No, they didn't. They never did, really did. Everything floated. Everything yeah. Floated. So one day, nobody I'll had get, to invent the wheel. I'll get Lego City stuff. Maybe Lego themed cars. Okay, so this is interesting. I got to get this tube and lay it in lay it down here in this area here so that it's able to receive the incoming axles these technic pins were shoving through here i've seen the lego mustang uh, that looks pretty cool you could either go with like a classic stock look um or you can go with like the big motor in the front with the uh big old um you know the one the supercharger and the hood scoop and all that it's kind of a cool set Yeah, they do a great job with the cars. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw one of those, a Porsche. Uh, there's two different Porsches. There's like a race Porsche, and then there's also a Porsche. How do you say it? Do you say Porsche or Porsche? I say Porsche, but I've heard plenty of people say Porsche. Yeah, correct. Me too. Me too. Well, you know, it's, it's uh, language changes. I listen to a lot of old-time radio, and it's interesting. I'll hear somebody say a word. I'm like, that's an odd way to say it. And I'll hear like two more people say the same word during the show. I'm like, so that's just how they said it then. Um, the one that comes to mind right away is coupe, like a car. You know, you, you drove away in a Ford coupe. They used to say coupe. Well, that would make sense, for, like, if, I guess, if you're driving like a, like a small little kind of like British Spitfire, maybe. 
because they they they, they enunciate words differently than we do. So maybe they say coupe. Yeah, but it was an, an American show. Oh, coupe. Well, maybe they're making fun of the word. I don't know. That's weird. one of those hard boiled, you know, hard boiled detective action things. Like mm-hmm. he drove away in a blue coupe. Wow. <laughs> maybe it's coupe. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny. Why is it? I cannot? I cannot. I, I'm dyslexic with my L-shaped Legos. I keep putting them on wrong, even though I'm looking at the picture. There. Bam. This is going to lay right across here and hide all of that. Hide all those gear mechanisms. I like the colors of your Legos, the red and black. I'm always a big fan of those colors. This is a pretty boring, just gray, a little bit of sand, a little bit of brown. Uh, the Great Council says it's not language changing. It's a German word pronounced Porsche. Yes, but we're the words. We're the ones changing it. We we speak we speak English, and that's our purview. That's our right. <laughs> Porsche. It's, it's, it's what we're known for. I'll say. If, if, are you sure about that? I've watched plenty of. I have not watched any German shows. I don't know. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Oh, it is Lunga. Why don't you use your true name? Lunga is. Oh, long is messing with me. I, was, I thought Porsche was a French word or an Italian word anyway. Oh, oh my gosh. You're ruthless. You are ruthless, sir. You are ruthless. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought. All right. I mean, it's, you know, it has that kind of sound to it. I'll give, I'll give you a break. I'm doing this right. Nope, I'm not. So, um, did you hear? Speaking about uh, German cars, I heard Volkswagen's bringing back the beat, the bus. The bus? The bus. That'd be cool. Yes, like a modern bus that doesn't break down. Like it'd be the ultimate, um, you know, was it United States camper van? Because we have so many, you know, roads and everything. And European camper van would be kind of cool, I would think. I saw a VW bus yesterday. Uh, at um, one of these used car, you know, fix it places, and it was painted to look like the mystery machine. Are you serious? Yeah, they, they and it was anime. It was beat up too. I mean, it wasn't like a, a nice paint job. It was it was a nice paint job when it was done. I mean, the van itself was beat up and rusted. I almost wanted to try to rescue it, but I'm like, eh. All right, so. Oh wow. So Lunga, do you own a Porsche or something? You got no, or you just know a lot about history of cars? Because I guess Porsche, uh, Porsche was named after Ferdinand Porsche. Are you serious? No, no I, I don't know if I want to believe Lunga. If he's just trolling me, I, I think now, now it's Volkswagen, not not the Volks, not the, I can't even say it now. Volkswagen and the, yeah. he's Vol- just Vol- not, Volkswagen. <laughs> No, I have a feeling he's. No, he's Sarah, come back and don't say, leave us. We need which, our friends. Which is, which is German for a veil's vagina. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I expect him to come out with that next. Okay, Mr. Machine. Yeah, some people just like having fun, like painting their car like at the Mr. Machine. Ugh. Not my I, you know, style. If I had that van, I would totally paint it like the Mystery Machine. So I, I'm not faulting them at all. <laughs> right, right. But it's just not my style. Like, um, there's this BMW that's in this neighborhood I, I'm working on right now. One of the homeowners has, uh, and uh, it's just paint like one of those Instagram model cars that has like this crazy um, abstract uh, wrap on it. That's just crazy colors, and it looks like a race car that. You know, does this not work on everyday driving car? It's just funny to drive around. This has got two chassis. It's going to be a long car. Extra long chassis, rather. Oh, so uh, Lunga, I guess, is a history major. He doesn't troll about uh, language and history. I'm pretty sure you've made plenty funny trolls about American history, Lunga. I know you. It's a, American history is a joke. Okay. What? He's doing hobbies himself. See, actually, that's awesome. Oh, I did another hobby this morning. Um, I'll show I've you. I've heard about that. 
Dude, I've heard about your Mando armor. I wish he... Dude, Lunga. What? What? You killed... Dude, that's ruthless, dude. You crucified a moth. Uh, no, the, the moth was dying already. And and the, the I mean... Were you taking it, care of it? I was not taking care of it. It was in the garage downstairs. It scared me to death because I thought it was like that, a small bird got trapped in there because it was that's like a beating around. Put your hand up to... Wait, put your finger up to it again? All right, that's a big moth. Okay. It's, yeah, it's a big emperor moth. Uh, so I put it in a relaxing jar for two days uh, and I just pinned it this morning. It's not a great pinning job. I had to look up how to do it. I've never done it before. So it's not, you know, your professional moth pinning. Uh, and... And as I dumped the jar out, two perfectly tiny, smaller than BBs, yellow pellets came out. They were like jelly uh, looking, translucent. So it's a she, and she left two eggs behind. So guess what my next project is? <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to hatch these emperor moth eggs. Are you sure that's not poop? I'm sure it's not poop. Uh, I thought it was pollen when she You're going to be taking care of poop. <laughs> yeah. If, 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 if the poop doesn't hatch in... <laughs> In two in in two weeks, uh, then I will uh, I will toss it. All right, but just looking right out now. for you. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be Joe Dirt walking around with your little meteor, right? Find out it's space poop. <laughs> <laughs> like um, what was it? The uh, Sword Art Online episode I was watching last night, where they had to get the special metal that the dragon makes. And he's like, well, here it is. Yeah, the, he, he eats the stuff and it turns to this in his stomach, so it's your metal, but basically you're playing with dragon poop. I watch your channel, Great Council. I haven't seen your Mando, uh, your Mando, Mando armor yet. So, so wait, what do you mean by Mando armor? Like it's like your own style of Mandalorian armor, or is it actually a replica of the Mandalorian armor, or a Boba replica of Boba Fett armor, or is it? Your own style or custom Mando armor, because a replica is always interesting. But then it's, yeah, you know, all right, the difference. But so, what are you gonna do with the moth? Well, I'm gonna once it dries in that position, uh, I'll be able to take all those pins out from around it. They're not through it, and I just right. got one pin through the torso. I'm just gonna pin it on a flat piece of, um, you know of uh, styrofoam and put it in a little frame. I've never done that before. How many of those have you done? Never, never. It's, I just saw this huge moth. It's the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. Uh, someone on Twitter told me, um, Ali Sanguis told me that it was um, an emperor moth and that I was lucky. And I was like, I don't know about luck, but it's cool to uh, know what it is and that one exists that's big. Then people started posting pictures of bigger moths, you know, turned into a moth measuring contest of a sort. <laughs> um, and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this. This is that's classic. You show your picture of it's a random hobby you're doing, and someone was like, you know what, dude? To let you know, my moth is bigger than yours. <sighs> <laughs> well, was Lunga involved in this uh, moth c competition? No, it, was, <laughs> it sounds uh, somebody... like something he'd be a part of. <laughs> He's like, look at that little wimpy thing. I've seen moths bigger than that. Uh... It's probably an Australian posting it. Uh... Oh, I love these uh, these ET face pieces here. I'm new to your channel, dude. I drop by I, every once in a while. I, I watch uh, Lunga's um, D and D and his reviews lately. He's had review and D D streams. So ha. Is he playing D and D? Yeah, dude. He does. Uh, he gets really. I didn't realize people did this. Like he gets. Um, so he gets a group of people on a show like this. Uh, and they do, I don't know how many hours, but they play a whole theme of, I don't know what, I've never seen d and I've never played it, so, and they get into the characters and into the voices, it's, it's fun to watch for a little bit, but I didn't realize, like, how, how gnarly it is. I haven't played D&D &D in years, years and years, and, uh, I mean, I was in junior high, so, and I'm 54, so that takes it back some. Yeah, so like Gary Gygax Jr. got banned from his own convention. <laughs> Dragon Con will not have TSR games there anymore. That sounds like the uh, geez, that's ruthless. Banned from your own convention. You're like, I, I started this business, yeah, <laughs> that's a classic trope, dude. We, we've made it, we've made it, we've made it more inclusive, sir. You're kicked out. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, so look at so he's twenty plus. Great, the Great Council. They are, uh, we are twenty plus episodes in. It's a homebrew campaign based off my fantasy novel. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's why. Okay, that's where the characters come from. I was just like, where did they come up with these voices and these characters? Like, it's wow. Like, long it takes. Like I do, I have one hot. Oh, I have two hobbies, I guess: surfing and Legos. Well, three, even playing video games. Lunga has like I don't know hobbies for hobbies for hobbies for hobbies for hobbies. I like that sticker on your builds on your build plate there. Yeah, where's your sticker? What'd you do with it? It's on the back of my monitor lid, facing outward. Ah, of my stickers. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do with this mat is just start putting stickers on it to help bring it to life. So uh, I, I ordered that's what I a. Should do. Because I'm out of space now for stickers. I'll just start putting stickers on the table. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So I've got about a thousand of these lying around. <laughs> if I ever wanted to become like micro Batman, I've got batarangs aplenty. You could sell them, dude. You could sell them to uh, somebody who flips them. There's a, I forgot, there's a YouTuber who does that. He has a Lego store. And that's pretty, that's pretty gnarly, trying to flip Legos. There's a you know, there's a guy in um in our town that every time there's a festival he's there with his tent up and he's selling like custom Lego figures and hard to find Lego figures. Mm -hmm. uh, he had he had like a God oh. we we bought a Godzilla off of him Godzilla Lego minifigure. And there's Godzilla? somebody online I keep meaning to hit up you know whenever I think about it he does so, custom. That was a custom, or does Lego does Lego have a Godzilla themed themed Lego set? They might have one because it was you know you can't just custom <laughs> a Godzilla. Uh, it was. This is kind of cool. Done. So this Lego is a is a saddle for your your motorcycle or this bike over here. This this Lego right there. Yeah. And then this Lego, I'm, I'm assuming this is where Baby Groot would go. Or not Baby Groot, the, the Baby Yoda. Oops. See, I don't even know the, the stuff very well. But they're like custom. This is, this is a lot of custom old Legos for this set, which is kind of cool to see. Yeah, yeah. Move this out of the way because guess what? It's sticker time again. Oh, geez. I keep on going out of focus when I do that. Wow. You, you conquered bag number one. So, so this is how I put my stickers on. Um, you know, a lot of people like to do the short way and go all the way up. I like to take the shortest path and line up the long edge and then go down from there. And I find I get a lot better placement. That's what I mean right there. Uh, see, the Great Council said there's no script. They kind of just role play it. And it's, it's just, hey, this stuff that Longa says, dude, you're so animated. <laughs> And how and how the, how they attack the players and how they interact with the uh, the scene yeah the uh, um, the 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 thing the things they do it's it's great it's great I I've never seen anything like it dude so it's like I am not very cultured Lunga give me a break when I see something like that I'm like whoa like I've heard of um, people going to what are those things Renaissance fairs. I've never been to one. Have you ever been to Renaissance Fair? I think you would have been to at least one Renaissance Fair, RJ. I've never been to one in my life. Really? However, wow. you know, Eureka Springs, Arkansas is pretty much one walking, talking, living, breathing Renaissance Fair. So anytime I go to Walmart, I'm pretty much at one. <laughs> the people of Walmart are the Renaissance Fair. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a hippie town. Since you haven't been to a Renaissance Fair, but have you tried mead? No, I have not tried mead. You haven't tried mead? Okay, maybe I am a little bit more cultured than I thought. I've tried mm -hmm. mead, and I haven't been to Renaissance Fair, but I've tried mead. And I think there's a mead store or a place that does mead tasting that's near me that I want to try. Mead's really good. It's sweet wine. Uh, okay, so... And it gets you messed up. It's honey wine. You screwed something up, which it doesn't look like because I'm not showing anything missing off the picture. Or I just got, you know, some extra little pieces here. And of course, two more batarangs other than the one Batman is holding already. Do I have to tell you this? Trust Lego. Yes, trust Lego. Uh, this trust is where Lego. we're at so far. We actually have the side 
symbols on both sides now. Uh, and we are moving on to bag number two. Very nice. Very nice, sir. Very nice. It doesn't feel like there's very many Jeez. Legos in each of these bags, so it's making it go a lot faster. Uh oh, Legos, Legos, Legos. Very interesting. Oh, don't run away. Okay, so turn the page, bag two. What are we starting with here? Park our main chassis over here. People can see it. So we got a, one of these very specific pieces that you just don't uh, find in the drawer. It's got top, it's raised, it's like a four pieces already put on the extra side here, and it's got side pieces. So this one's important. <laughs> Not yep, one you yep. want to lose. It's blue saying this one's different, guys. <laughs> Pay attention. Bright color and strange shape. You will not replace me easily. Wow. Black fins. That's a creative way of doing things. It's very fun to, uh, to see how they put the Legos together and how they use them because there's just some ways I was like, I would have never thought of that. Like, for example, I, this right here, to create this little piece right here was kind of fun. I wish I could, I wish I did not just covered it all with my hands at the time of building it. <laughs> <laughs> So I got four of these little covers. We're gonna click on one corner at a time. I am interested in the the um, what's it called the bat the Lego bat theme like um, the Lego bat theme Batman theme stuff because it's it's cool. I like the, how they on the classic way. I really do. Yeah, I, I I'm, I'm have, still toying with getting that Batman helmet, but I just can't make myself pull the trigger on that one. I'd like to see one completed to get an idea of scale. Oh, YouTube it. You know that. Come on now. Oh, my God. That's what I should do. Well, that's what I do when I need to, when I need to learn something. I just YouTube it and... Yep, and I, then I get these heated debates because all I know is YouTube knowledge and people are like, yeah, did you read the book? No, dude, I just watched a couple of five-minute videos on YouTube. <laughs> right? It's not healthy, but it's fun. I'm ready for heart surgery now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm ready to take apart the world. <laughs> Make an incision right here, and then you... Uh... Oh, Oh. A new friend in the chat, uh, James Hayes. Hello, everyone. Hey, James is coming over from uh, George Gatsis's channel, uh, from from the movie streams that George puts on. Welcome. Yes, back. yes. George and his movies, and his movies. George, so, wait, you watch the the classic films also? I was, I was, yeah, I was watching a little bit with him last night. The uh, Detective Wong. Yes, with that was Karloff. All right, I have one. I have one thing I have to say about George's movie shows. Come on, George. I'm trying to watch them. You know, I got to talk over them like that. Who talks <laughs> over movies? Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Well, the cool thing oh, is no. though is that they're they're uh, they're public domain movies, so <laughs> you can always just go get it and watch it at home. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is oh Lego. Please, no, don't do this to me. These, what they these do little, these little one piece squares right here uh-huh uh -huh. i gotta put a sticker on it oh this would be fun yeah this is a one one pip sized sticker yeah yeah and the, the lego stickers once you they're one they're a one-time thing i don't know I've, I've never tried to use a heat gun to try to take off a sticker and try to replace it if, I, I you know, I've never... if they're hanging off the edge where i can grab it then i can do it 
Same boat. Same boat. Hey, yeah, there's one on. Oh, so for the people in the chat who just showed up, I'm building a Mandalorian set. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen. So it comes with a uh, speeder bike. Uh, it looks like another speeder bike and a little little hut. Comes with a child, Mandalorian, and a Tuscan Raider. Show sure, this just a little update for the new people or new friends in the chat. Yeah, and I am building the 1966 uh, Batmobile with uh, Adam West Batman and uh, True to Life Caesar Romero Joker. So, to our friends, which set would you get, or would you get both? I'd get both. I get both, but I, I'm really excited for yours, though. I like the Batman. I like the colors. So, doo -doo -doo. I guess these are like tail lights or something. Weird. They go right in there. I'm working on bag one, and RJ's on bag two already. How dare you, sir? Well. I said it was uh, not a very full bag. So, okay, we got this, like this. Doo -doo -doo. Very cool. That's kind of cool. Well, I have I, my my next stream. I'm going to be doing a rebuild of something I've already built. Interesting. I am going to rebuild the uh, Big Bang Theory that we did last time around with lights. So, is is this, did you have the light set, or is it in the mail? It's on. It's in the mail. Very cool. It hasn't arrived yet, but when it does, uh, we'll do a brief. It, it may not take that long to put the lights in it, so I'll have something on standby just in case. Mm -hmm. Got these little horseshoe shaped clear red pieces to slip in here, which I have apparently done incorrectly. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. Put Legos on backwards. That's why I really, I, sometimes I really try, I've learned just to slow down sometimes when I'm just like, all right, this has to be a certain orientation. I go, yeah, are you sure this, are you sure? Like this one, yep, 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 yep. Everything's this is why out. I don't use the craggle. Wow, that's a cool way of doing things. There's a lot of articulations on this one. So you got the front that goes, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then the nose of it goes, this way, so there's a lot of articulation on, the, on this little thing, which is cool. Makes you feel like it actually over little sand dunes. <laughs> yeah. Like what? I, I really enjoy the world of Star Wars. The whole concept of of like it looks rustic. Like people are living like tribes, tribe tribal people on that uh, Luke's planet. Uh, not what is it? it? Was it Luke's planet? Yeah, Luke's planet. But at the same time, they're using you know lasers and um uh, things that fly it's just like how does that make any sense they're in high tech <laughs> the life? yeah like even like the cheap the people who are poverty yeah they're farmers or the technology is outrageous like it's just basic technology form we're, we're on our way to high tech poverty you see homeless people with cell phones so i watched a, a little short on youtube about joe rogan and he was having a conversation. You, you know who Joe Rogan is, right? I know the name, yes. Okay. And yeah, he, he does this podcast about both people have conversation, debates, and just topics and stuff. He's talking to Elon Musk. And he was talking about, so like, you know, what, like, like he asked Elon, so what's the timeline? And Elon can't really give him a timeline about being able to actually have a civilization on Mars. He was like more worried about, it's not like being able to survive on Mars, like, you know, being able to do that. It's being able to get resources back and forth in time in a timely manner and consistent enough that the people there would be able to survive. Yeah. And I was like, you know, and I was just like, Oh, that's a, that's gnarly. So I don't think we're going there anytime fast. Like, 
Hell, we're running out of gas here, dude. <laughs> if someone puts in the wrong code, we run out of gas here. Uh, uh, so, so what do you think about that? Do you think we're going to Mars anytime soon, dude? It's a, bit, it's a big push. Do you think I it's going to happen in our lifetime? I don't think I'll see it. I don't think I'll see anything up there but a robot. Yeah. Which is what we got now. It would have been. It would be cool though. Like, whoa! Option two. There's new real estate in a place that no no man's ever gone before. Planet B. Even though we have places like that in, in, on our world, I heard there's places like the, in the Amazon that man has never been before. There's, yeah, I think there's plenty of places we've never been before too. At on this we, Earth. Yeah. At least we say we've never been there before you, you never know what you know indigenous tribes of prehistory where they've gone in and out of hmm. okay, it goes on top of uh, the red light and this one goes on top of that red light i thought it was like done like with bag one but look at all these extra pieces i'm like hmm, i forgot something i i forgot something you start looking at the pictures, you're like, yep, yep, there's a little, yep, 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 that's what I forgot, dang it. Yeah, when you have too many extra pieces, that's that's a clear warning sign. Yes. So, I'm just checking it over, checking it over real quick. Okay, I'm, I was going in the wrong direction. These, these special pieces that are angled in a certain direction i'm, I'm kind of dyslexic on those two um i'll put two that are just cut the same way that looks much better now now we got that v opening we were expecting yeah um, oh sarah i'll be sorry you got things to do we'll be here hey then, dory's uh, here too hey how you doing dory hey. doris jones labors of love welcome friend but uh, yeah, I agree. That's a good point. Be able to find resources that we will to um, to you know cope with. I guess the best to me, I don't understand. It's like if you're gonna send something to Mars, you might as well send a plant there with the item that you're sending. You know, send something there to start cultivate to see if it cultivates. Exactly. Like drop some seeds in the freaking ground. Like if you're gonna send a rover, send something there that might grow. You know, put, pay, I'll pay an extra billion dollars to, to send a, a plant to Mars. You know, start start farming on Mars with a robot, and then Use send it. another robot back to harvest and bring it back to see if we can eat it. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. Like every chance you send something, try to cultivate. That's all I'm saying. My Starbucks coffee is getting cold, so now it's. Ugh. So, th like, what do you think about that? When coffee gets cold, is it still good? Because like, either it's like. Warm coffee, room temperature coffee, and then it's like, okay, we got iced coffee. But that yeah, room coffee, coffee for some reason manages to get colder than room temperature when it's sitting out. I I, I don't know what the physics are behind that. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I've never noticed that before. So I'm going to open up bag number two. This is bag one. I think I'm done with this, the little speeder bike. See, that's what I'm guessing. This guy goes here. But I'll drink uh, cold coffee. All right. I have to agree with Sarah. I hate using that word. He's cute. He is cute. <laughs> Do -do -do -do. And then uh, we got this guy here. He stands on the bike. That's a little different. Oh, that's kind of actually that's, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so this piece has been built, and they're telling me now that it's ready to be connected to this piece. In what way, shape, or form does it go on? Right there. <laughs> All right, we're starting to look like a Batmobile. So, let's now that it's connected, what are we doing to it? Is the hut with the Tuscan Raider. Yeah, RJ, he's a he's a savage. He just tears his bags open. I can't do that. I don't know why. I have to use scissors. <laughs> I'll 
probably end up cutting myself with my safety scissors one day. I just pull them, pull them along the seam. They tend to open easily enough. I'm always scared. You know, I, I don't try to pull too hard because I know if I do, it's Legos everywhere, and you might as well just get a vacuum cleaner and throw it out because you'll never find them all again. See, I don't get this. Why are there two bags in, in, a, in a Lego bag? I don't get that part. Why would you separate them within themselves? Uh, well, you'll find that usually they all kind of go together to build one of the pieces. Sometimes I'll leave the little bags together until I can't find a piece. I'm like, okay, we're into the little bag now. I have little bones. Tuscan Raiders, I guess. Oh, they eat people, huh? They're cannib They're not cannibals, but they eat, they eat people. <laughs> well, yeah, because they're not people. What are they? I mean, uh, okay, I've never seen a Tuscan Raider without its mask. Have you ever seen a Tuscan Raider without a mask? I haven't, so that's a very good question. What are Tuscan Raiders in their natural environment? Dude, all right. Without, without the masks on. That's a crazy... Humans? This is a crazy looking little Tuscan Raider. Let me, let me see how close I can get him. Do, 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 do. That's scary. Yikes! Yeah, he 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 looks like a he looks like a South Park Tuscan Raider. That's what I mean. He's got little spikes on his head, like a little wrap and everything. Like, ugh. So, question: Do they have to take the mask off to eat? They must. <laughs> the masks are just there to keep the sand out of their nostrils. They probably have uh, like a like a mouth or a nose that they can't close, so they so they cover it to keep the sand out. Yeah, it makes me wonder if they're like a, also the same concept, but like an advanced civilization. That headgear looks like it's got something going on. It's got goggles. It's got air breather. These guys aren't as simple as they look. Oh, I'm liking this Lego bag. I have a little, little cooking pot, fire, bones. Yes, I'm stoked about this one. Oh, we got a new friend in the chat, Robert Roberts. Hey, He's Robert. back. Go. Well, I got to get into my Lego holding box. Oh, what? You have a Lego storage box? I still have to get one of those. I don't have enough Legos. I haven't started one. taking apart my Legos yet, so. They're all still in a piece, and I have enough shelf space right now. I'm running out of shelf space fast because I just got something. I can't even squeeze into frame. I saved my Brickheads box uh, because yep. I was getting too many extra pieces and books left over. So I'm like, I'm going to store them all in here, and I think if I'm lucky, that's not where I put it. Well, what the hell? I've misplaced a very important thing the lego separator here let me just hand you mine <laughs> I, I would laugh if they put one in bag three but i wonder what the price point uh, or how, what the lego count is before you get a lego separator you know makes you wonder what what does it what's the final decision? Does this does this set get the Lego separator or not? Do people make enough mistakes on this one putting it together? Well, goodness gracious, how did I lose my Lego separator? It's, it's bright orange. Yeah, it's bright orange and it's not that small. Well, I, I'm I'm assuming it's with the last set you built. Well, they're all up there. <laughs> on a little wooden uh, like a wine box turned to its side and nailed to the wall yes unless i put it up here with the mandalorian which i don't think i did no i didn't huh? so this is interesting i was hoping for with uh with uh for a tuscan raider with a gun uh instead of a staff so this guy he's got a staff i'm going to do the separating off camera here because <laughs> i'm doing something dangerous that's the Tuscan Raider with staff. There we go. I used the box cutter blade to get under there. Yeah, we don't want to recommend anybody use a box cutter blade to get under a Lego and lift it. See, I love that. These, these instructions. First instruction is base plate. 
with no Legos on it. Thanks, guys. I could have figured that out. You could have at least started with number two. Where are these new hump Legos going to go? They're going to go. Uh, Transformer themed Legos. That would be fun. Especially if they work. I don't think they have, actually. So they could totally do that with the cars, but I don't know if they could transform. I know they have the ninja, nin, nin, Ninjago. That's such a strange word for me. Set that has uh, a lot of mech warriors, but I don't think there's actually a Transformers theme. There's Lego not. Warriors. It's a, it's a licensing issue. So they, you know they haven't they just haven't licensed it. That's a great point. I I trust the Lego engineers to be able to just if if Lego got behind doing Lego Transformers, they would transform. I have no doubt in my mind that they would. While assembled. I wonder if um, if someone's thinking about Transformers again and bringing them back because that was a pop. They did a lot with it. I, I'm still hungry for more Transformers. I'm hungry for more Transformer movies. Well, it hadn't been that long since the last Michael Bay film, Cough Cough. Okay, time to put the car down and build the next piece that's going to go onto it. Take this long piece. And then we take this three piece here. If they did, I'd be interested in a transforming Legos or Transformer Legos. Ooh. That's right, they are doing a Transformers Beast Wars live action movie. Very cool. We'll have to watch for that. So, um, there's a couple new movies that just came out. Someone suggested that there's like a like a King Arthur style movie that just came out. Did you hear about that? I had. The Green Book or something? I don't know. I'm, I'm not very. Well, hit. there was a King Arthur like series on Netflix, uh, Cursed. Nope, it's not that one, it's something else. That was Frank Miller's job, too, and they canceled it. <laughs> uh, so we got a hingy door thing. So I apparently I have to build the reverse of that. I'm already confused. Okay. So what I, I'm thinking about doing is... is the Lego sets I've built is making some 10 minute clips and reviewing them real quick and then uh, probably just give them away or flipping them. I don't know. I just don't have the storage space. I guess I can put them in totes. Start, yeah. just start taking just, you know, start putting them away. I don't want to take them apart for some reason. Well, if you take them apart, my recommendation would be to put them, keep, keep your sets together in like these gallon sized Ziploc bags. Correct. Because I've, I've been in the world where the reds go in the red box and the blacks go in the black box, and you'll never be able to put this intricate thing together again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I've seen people do reverse. When they take it apart, they reverse it uh, from the Lego book, uh, from the, the instruction manual, and they put it in bags. So they can keep it like 100%, uh, try to keep it as 100% original as possible, I guess. Or do you, or do you just tear it apart? I I don't keep the boxes. I As long as I've got the book, I feel like it's a complete set. Um, there you go. I'm, I'm sure there's, you know, the, the MI, MIB box collectors. Um, I'm like, where's the fun in that? You're not even going to play with it. I hate to say it, I am probably gonna get a, get a, I'm going to get a Christmas uh, village set going. I really, for some reason, yeah, I don't know why. It's a lot of fun. The Green Knight, thank you. So yes, there's a new uh, Mer, I guess uh, Knights of the Round Table, kind of King Arthur, Merlin kind of movie, but maybe called the Green Knight that just came out. People are saying it's pretty good. Go check it out. I was like, all right, all right. And then there's the Black Widow. Black Widow just came out. Have you watched that? I haven't watched that yet. Uh, plan to. 
we had um, our, our reviewer in St. Louis was out of town for the for the green night, but he has his reservations for uh, this week, coming week to go see Suicide Squad or The Suicide Squad. Really? So we'll have a review up on that shortly. That's kind of cool. Are you excited about that one? Duh. Uh, I've, I've tempered my excitement level on any DCEU films now, but it looks entertaining, and it looks entertaining from a fan perspective to say, hey, they actually made a live-action Polka Dot Man. Um, yeah, they're, they're doing it with things that nobody cares about, nobody's heard of. Which is perfectly fine for Suicide Squad because that's their whole reason for living is to die. No, don't go in there. You're a black one. Don't tell them. They might get pissed off. <laughs> yeah. Your whole existence as a character, it's just to be scrubbed one day. Just don't tell them. Don't tell them. Yeah, Suicide Squad was a great concept for a comic book to get rid of, you know, characters that nobody cared about. And the thing is, they found out that <laughs> there was no such thing. Um, you know, Condiment King has a stand out there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. There's somebody out there who cares. Yeah. All right. Another tiny, another tiny sticker going on here. This can be our instrument panel sticker. Sticker number five. Ooh, that's interesting. So Sarah, one of the friends from the chat, is saying that she watched uh, the suicides yesterday. Uh, the suicide squatted in the cinema yesterday and kept falling asleep. So, ooh, you might know something about this one because you follow uh, a little bit more news. I guess Scarlett Johansson is suing Disney. Yeah, I haven't dug into the um, technicals of it yet, but from what I understand, it's uh, it's you know, she, dude. she doesn't get streaming rights. She only gets box office rights, and having the box office cut short is... You know, interfering with her ability to make money. You know what? You know what Disney's going to claim, right? Because of the pandemic, we can't. There's no way that it was like we could have upheld that contract. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? They're gonna. They're gonna. The, yeah. There had to be. Yeah. Like there's just there's something in there that says, oh, because of the pandemic, and it's just like, are you serious? Just get her her money. She she works hard. She works hard. Now, I put the sticker on and I'm going to peel it off. Just like that. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, dude. How'd that one cube sticker go? Uh, it went on. But, um, there, yeah, I wanted this one to be a little placed a little higher on the, on whatever this shape is called. And where's it going to go? So, James. Hmm. As a comic book, he enjoyed Marvel's Thunderbolts for more than DC Suicide Squad. I have never heard of Thunderbolts. And oh, Mr. Thunderbolts Yonafui, goes Really? This is boring stuff to you, Mr. Yonafui? It's Legos. These are awesome. These are totally awesome. Uh, that's what he's talking about. They're talking about comics now in the chat. Okay, cool. this is the point where I now have to take apart much of the Batmobile. What? You, what what I, happened? I, I'm trying to connect to a piece that's buried. That's got to come out. Does it say in the instructions to take all that apart? No. Oh. <laughs> it, it's saying in the instructions, RJ, what the hell did you do? You screwed up. Oh. Don't you wish oh. you had your Lego separator now? No bueno. Seriously, this is a tiny little hut. Something. It's cool. My little desert hut. Doo, doo, doo. So I was watching a couple other uh, Lego uh, YouTubers. And there's a guy out there. Oh, there's a couple people who just make these huge themed sets. that are like like eight eight foot, uh, well, yeah, eight feet by four feet pieces of plywood or tables, and it's pretty amazing. Some of the um, some it's just some of the hobby enthusiasts are amazing, dude. Oh, everybody, why does everybody got to take everything to, it, uh, to such an extreme level? That's that's amazing, huh? 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 I, they're just that good at it, dude. That's yeah. No, seriously, I'm going back like pages, I see pages. 
I, I don't. I did that on the Ecto one. I was I was like trying to cut corners so I didn't have to go back pages, and then you realize, all right, this is, I messed up. <laughs> oh my god, how far back am I going? I messed up. Okay, Mr. Yanafui, ooh, he's very active. Really enjoy the Outstrander Suicide Squad of the eighties. Oh, I was asking about the movie if it was boring, and yeah, George Stream was the most boring stream in the. <laughs> Well, okay, that seems right. Oh, what's I going see. on? What's going on? What happened? Dude, let us know what happened. Let us know. Well, it's 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 hard to explain without getting to it, but I got to get this gray piece off here because one of these pieces is under it and it needs to be out a little further. Oh, by one peg. Yeah, because oh. there's nothing there's nothing to put the thing that goes there on. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I got this little gizmo. Yeah, I don't know what I'm... Oh, I'm building the roof. Wow, this thing kind of really folds open. This is kind of cool. Are you kidding me? Seriously. Okay? It's got to be up here somewhere. It, it's got to. There's not that much. He needs the Lego separator, guys. See, I thought <laughs> that if I slowed down my pace, I could, I could just finish exactly when RJ finished, but he's not helping me out, guys. I'm... Yes, yes. Critical Blast, yeah, you're pretty amazing. Um, I've watched a lot of your shows. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you're, not, if you're here for Legos, thank you. But guess what? This guy over here, RJ, he does a lot. He does a lot of comic book reviews. He does. A, he promotes a lot of people. Um, so check out his other shows. Check out his uh, videos on his channel. If you need to know about uh, comic books and the people involved, the creators, the artists, the writers. Um, thank you, this man. Is, Shipping logistics. I've heard this is the shipping guy. That's what I've heard. I don't know. I don't ship pump, but I heard you're the shipping guy. We, so we I gotta ship. build three of these. <laughs> well, I heard you like you and George have figured out something. A key. You figured out you figured out something. Yeah, we're doing the international shipping thing right. Uh, oh lord. Can I really screw that bad eh? So I remember at one point in time, the uh, post office box having a five dollars shipper, any it was like a priority box or something like that. It was like five. I don't remember. Anyways, I don't know. I wish. I I feel like there's a better way to ship these comic books in some of these cases, and I think you guys have figured something out, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I mean we're still uh, putting them in Gemini boxes and such, but uh, it's. I gotta look at this. Let's see what's uh -oh. going on here. Uh oh, uh oh. I gotta, I gotta be counting pips. <laughs> so, have you ever lost uh, an instruction manual to your Lego set and had to use the digital version, or have you ever tried the uh, digital instructions that actually do piece placement? Each it shows you where every piece is, and you have to click OK or something like that. I've not done that. I found out what I did wrong here. I had it turned around. Yes, that's what I mean. Like I, I've really learned to sometimes slow down and check the orientation. Even then, I still mess up because I'm special. Okay, so now I've got to figure out everything that went on beyond this point. How did I screw it up badly? No, really, the Great Council thinks that George Peter Gatsis, which is I don't know if you know if you all don't know. He's another YouTuber who does comic books uh, and movie reviews of uh, archived movies that are licensed free. Or is that what it is? Or copyright free? I don't know what it is. But he's able to watch movies and do reviews and criticize them. Yeah. <laughs> just make fun of them. <laughs> and Lunga thinks it's a troll. I don't think it's a troll. I enjoy those, Lunga. Okay. Who are you trolling? The chat? Because that's not fair. Is Lunga making fun of me? Uh, okay, I managed to I managed to do it right now. So now I was able to get my my this this console wasn't didn't have anything to connect to. That's all because just, I didn't put two Legos together in the right order. And then Mr. Yonafui has a chat that says, uh, you know what he misses? The Jack Showroom. He used to be a co-host. 
Um, so I was thinking about that today. Uh, I was thinking about finishing the. So the people in the chat, if you don't know, I have a show which I'll post a link. I'll give RJ the link to post. I have a, a Lego show myself that I'm working on the Millennium One, 2019 Millennium One, and this is how far we got. We started, I think, a month ago. So it's a pretty big Lego set right now. It covers a Mandalorian set. So I I have four bags left. I have to finish. And I've been for like three or four weeks since I started that. Sorry, guys. So here's the uh, the first telephone in a car I ever saw was in the Batmobile. And it was still a, a landline <laughs> kind of thing. That'd be awesome. They had to stop, look for like something to plug into, and then plug into the cell phone. <laughs> uh, he, he picked it up in the car but it was like still had the coily little wire underneath the thing dude so okay i was just thinking about landlines and stuff have you been to las vegas you've been to las vegas right i have never been to las vegas i'm you know okay have you much... ever have you ever, ever been to a city that has a monorail kind of like gotham has a monorail right Going through the city, um, the very first Batman by uh, the uh, uh, that came out, that was a Dark Knight series, has the monorail that goes straight into the center of Gotham. And the oh, Wayne the Tower. elevated ones. Yes, elevated monorails. Chicago. Or Disney theme parks have yeah. monorails. Yeah, something like Disney. that. Why don't more cities have monorails that are elevated trains? I don't know. Why don't we all have bidets in our bathroom is my question. You know, I've actually never tried one of those, and I'm actually really intimidated. I don't, I don't know what the experience is going to be like. I'm going to enjoy it. How many people in the chat are in viewing have used a, du a duvet? I'm guessing Lunga. Oh, a duvet Lunga's is a bed culture, covering. Man. <laughs> a duvet is a bed covering, but a bidet is. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, what, if you if you were like get poop on your hands you wouldn't just take a piece of tissue and wipe it off and say all good <laughs> all right so this guy uh he has he's got a good point i don't know if it's a good point but he's got an argument he's like all right i put a piece of peanut butter i smear this peanut butter on my arm i'm like all right peanut butter is not like poop all right i see what you're saying he's like all right i'm gonna take this paper towel and type up this peanut butter on my arm and he just like smears it everywhere on his forearm he's all okay let's see, let's see what happens dry paper towel now what if, what if i just use water no paper towel. And he starts doing it and it wipes off. I'm like, oh, okay, you have a good point. And he's like, we just use a towel to dry up the water, just a dab here to dab there. And I was like, all right, he's got a good point. But I don't know. I don't know, guys. We I just do it and call it clean and move on from there. Okay, guys, where's this piece? Oh, this piece goes in the front. You hey, what do you think about uh, Demolition Man, the three seashells? You've seen Demolition Man. Come on. <laughs> I've seen Demolition Man, but it has been some years. All right. They use three seashells. And he's like, huh. So he starts, he goes out in the lobby, starts cussing, and gets his tickets. And Brian <laughs> it takes his tickets, his cussing tickets, his violations for cursing into the uh, the bathroom and uses those to wipe. It's a great, oh, uh, that's a that's a good movie to watch, Demolition Man. I'm going to have to watch that again. It's been, it's been too long. And uh, yeah, the whole fact where everything was illegal unless you had permission. A license. So, um, James, to answer your question about the Jack Show on my channel, I just didn't. Uh, I've been working a lot. I have. Uh, I'm just going to use excuse after excuse after excuse right now to say I'm sorry. <laughs> and it'll be back up soon. Oh, we've been at this hour and twenty minutes. I got a show in an hour. <laughs> I better I better get a move on here. What? It's been an hour and 20 minutes? Are you serious? Um, I'm only a bag two. What's happened to my oh, Lego hour and 15 skills? minutes. Uh, but still, what's ha I can't build Legos anymore? All right, I need to step it up. Two bags left, guys. I got to do this. It just, it just takes time to, you know, do quality. Yes, yes. I take pride in my Lego uh, building. It's uh, one way or the right way, guys. Wait. Yeah, my way or the right way. And we'll find out. <laughs> This clips in. Where's this clip in at, guys? So there's a lot of moving. Like, dude, this is backwards. No. All right, cool. 
this is kind of cool. So there's a lot of adjustment here. You swing, start. This one swings. This swings. This swings. This swings all open. These all open straight up and over, actually. That's a cool little stage. That is nice. Yeah, it's a hut. It really collapses in on itself like a little TP. Kind of pretend it's new. It's all these hinges are these uh, are kind of really secure, really snappy. I love the pieces that kind of hinge together like that. Um, and, and then, you know, when they close up, they make a different kind of unit. So they do. We do have Lego Transformers are just buildings right now. Uh, <laughs> my son had a, um, what was it, a, a, like, a, like a camper. And it had the rollout roof mm -hmm. that came out to the side. And it, it was literally, you know, you crank, turn the crank and the roof rolls out and side coverage. I think I've seen something like that. Um, I've seen a couple of the campers. Uh, is that the Lego City campers? Yeah, or Lego is City it, campers. Okay, because I saw one that was an Ultimate Collector set that was a Volkswagen bus that has like this this camper on top that has like the wedge uh, cloth thing that some of those Volkswagen buses have that have the, the top that kind of lifts up. I don't know what that's called. It's like a, a tall ceiling, I guess. Did you find your um, your Lego remover? No, I didn't. And and I, I need it today, man. I am like just free, like free. two-year-old with Legos today. Yeah. Did you get breakfast? Is that what it is? You missed breakfast? I, oh, I forget what time is it where you're at because I saw that you uh, start. It's two twenty here it. now. Yeah. So I just can't. I just can't read instructions this morning. Wow, deep. James, America is no longer a nation looking for achievements. Tax spending is a system of maintenance where your tax dollars fund special and corporate interests rather than improve your quality of life. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, um, on that one, I see your point, and I will not argue against that. Great, great, solid observation there, James. It's a sad system. It's a sad machine that we built. So you know what scares the shit out of me? Um, oh, sorry for the language, Critical Blast. What, what scares me is when I see a lot of billionaires who agree with going to space because they feel like there is no hope left for, for the machine that we've created. That scares me. What the billionaires and the the people with the big the big decision making are really thinking about uh, the planet? Yeah, because they'll be okay there. Yes, exactly. They have their bunkers, right? Like, I wonder how many how many bunkers, custom bunkers, have been made. Wow! Show that thing off for a bit, dude. Dude, look we at are... the colors. Like, Batman now has to be all black, no yeah. color. He has to be a dark shadow figure. But the other guy, he was like, dude, I want to be in front of the camera. Look at me. Look at me. I'm fucking Batman. You know, my <laughs> favorite <laughs> Batmobile. Um, my, my, I think my favorite Batmobile years? was in uh, Man of Steel, uh, the John Byrne series, where uh -huh. that was that one issue where Batman meets Superman for the first time. And all it was was like this nondescript black coupe. <laughs> it's just, and uh, he opened <laughs> the trunk and there was the computer system folding out. Uh, he had a crime lab computer there in the trunk, but it was like nobody would guess that that's the Batmobile. That's just you know, it was it was it blended in, which is what Batman absolutely would do. Now in that movie, Batman was the only character to have like vehicles, right? There wasn't a Joker didn't have a car, did he? Ah. Uh... I don't remember the villains yeah. having any kind of transportation or, uh, you know, they kind oh, of yeah. just... He had, he had a Joker mobile. In the movie? Not in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he had that van. But, um, but yeah, he had, in certain instances, uh, it was usually for a gimmick story. It's like, oh, look out, Batman. The Joker's got a Joker mobile. Uh, the Joker got a utility belt at one time that was full of pranks. Mm -hmm. um, Green Arrow. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. There you landed. <laughs> we had one roll off the table. Uh, yeah, so I had to put up this little sponge border on my play mat. I went to Walmart. Or not Walmart. I went to uh, Home Depot and bought this uh, gasket that goes on fridges. 
the yeah. time and then put that all the way around my border um, to the UV gasket so the little pieces won't roll off on open bags. Yes, yes, yes. I've been thinking of, I took this Lego thing seriously. I'm taking it seriously, guys. That's brilliant. I got my little comic skate sticker. Do, 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 do. I learned that I had my green screen on, even though I don't never had a green screen. That's what was making all the col funny colors. <laughs> I had that. I did that for a solid week. I'm like, well, I've lost my connection. What's going on? Yeah, I had my green screen option turned on, and it was uh, <laughs> trying to green screen everything. So yeah. there's the uh, the Joker uh, mini fig. Me focus that again on there. So okay, was the hair separate from the head? Yep, 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 yes, yep, 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 because yep. you can rotate, yep, yep, turn him around and turn him into the I'm not very happy Joker now. Very cool, very cool, very interesting. Uh oh, yeah, I'm gonna make him the happy Joker. All right, I'm not calling Lego blind because this piece doesn't exist yet. Go around that, so I'm supposed to find. Another one of these triangles right here, and you can tell on my play mat, there's not one of those triangles right there. So I'm not Lego blind. <laughs> it's just it must be in another bag. I haven't opened yet. Must be. Let's let's hope. Let's hope that that's the case. Yeah. Unless I mean, really, am I really can't see it? And then um, I wish they had made the Adam West Batman. That's what's called. First Godzilla film. What is this? You ever heard of this? We have James saying, I, I still wish they had made the Adam West Batman vs. Godzilla film back in the day. I didn't even know they were thinking about it. Please, please, James, talk more. What is this? And then, so I think Sarah likes your Batmobile. You know oh, what? No, I, wait, I, she likes your Joker. That's what it is. She check this Joker. out. This is the uh, grappling hook gun. I don't know if you can Why see it or not, the... but it, at the end of the grappling hook, okay, there is a hole. Okay. So there's plenty of Legos where they come with thread. You could you could actually put thread through this and make it a you know a grappling hook that has something. Yeah, you could hang a Lego from. In fact, I have a Batman. Uh, that has a um, sort of a backpack with a with a clip on it, and you can put the Lego thing on there and let him go, and he goes zzz, up the up the line. It rolls it rolls him in. So for a quick update, I was able to pick up the uh, Daily Bugle. No, the Lego set. Yeah, so I was able to get it on offer up for cost. So not cost. I mean for the store price without tax. I had to pay any sales tax. So it's two ninety nine at the Lego store. And uh, two hundred ninety nine dollars at the Lego store. I bought. I bought it for three hundred dollars exactly. So I mean, I didn't have to pay sales tax, which is awesome. Um, but um, yeah, so it has a whole bunch of that kind of stuff where they use uh, cords and all kinds of stuff to hang figures off the building. And right now, I would like to finish this set because you have somewhere to go. So I, uh, I wish we had time where I could show you guys this set. It's pretty cool. I, let me know when you're building that because I want to be in the audience. That. Uh, next Sunday, uh, we'll be working on that set. I'll be finishing the um, with the Millennium Falcon today, and then uh, presenting it on the channel today. So right now, I'm building the fire pit. I believe that's what it looks like. I'm really stoked because it's got some cool detail. Yeah, yeah, I love the I love the details that they put into it. The little things. You, you get the big picture done, but then it's the little add-on stuff that. Where they, where they try to make the scene come to life. I guess once you start building Lego over and over and over again, see how they use the bricks and the blocks and the wedges and all every piece you can think of. I don't, I don't know all the names yet. There are so many different names. Single wedges, slopes. I think they call these actually slopes instead of wedges. Yeah, I don't get my own. <laughs> yeah, and uh, eventually people start doing their mock builds. They start building stuff that they like um, that's related in themes like building a Lego city and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's a little fire pit by Lego. That's what Lego thinks is a fire pit. Okay. Right, I got my um, headlights in place. It's the same family guy 
joke, James. Is it the same family guy jokes, James? Interesting. Oh, wait, there's more. Okay, and then the, there are articles about it on the Godzilla week, wikis. They had a script, but the budget and licensing deals fell through. Ah. Uh, Those yeah, darn licensing yeah, deals. Yeah, li yeah, yeah. That sucks that sometimes licenses stop great ideas from happening because of who? Lawyers. Yep. Good old lawyers. As Shakespeare said to kill them all first. Want to get something done? First, kill all the lawyers. Wait a second. Are you serious? Well, it was in, uh, what was it in? One of the plays. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm just, I didn't really realize they had lawyers when Shakespeare around, but I wonder, I wonder how long the profession, I mean, of lawyers have been around because I'm guessing they've been around before the actual judges, someone to be there to be on your side and to get paid for and to fight for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, the merchant of Venice, um, is why they're always like, you know, Shakespeare was anti-Semitic or something because Shylock was uh, the lawyer in that one, and he was also Jewish, and he wasn't the good guy. So you know, it, that, that whole uh, stereotype about, you know, Jews and money and all that goes, goes way, way back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, people have been on this earth for a long time, dude. Like now, it's pretty amazing that we forget that we've built cities and cities on top of each other, and cities and cities on top of each other. Like that, like the comic book idea of having uh, underground civilizations, like people completely living underground and sewer dwellers, is completely possible, dude, in Europe. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Those catacombs just yeah, on and on. Uh, in Vegas. <laughs> There's, bu there's bums living in underground tunnels, you know, mm -hmm. in the sewer system or, or the drainage system for the sewer. Oh, these guys are cannibals. So there is a little cooking pot, and that's where the little bones go. See, I got little bones. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got a little cooking pot with a little bone. Fat cannons together here. That's epic. Little scene. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm missing one of these little wedgie thingies. Oh no. The roof. And you guys can tell it's not on the mat. Oh, maybe I threw it away. It's still in the bag. Yeah, check the bag. <laughs> check the bag, Eric. I mean Jack Show. Oh dang, I just I just gave away my freaking all now I've got to take the stream down. It's in the bag, guys. It was in the bag. Oh, I think I need to Take care of my hands a little better. All right, so here we go. So glad you found it. See, I didn't lose it. It was in the bag. So there's a difference, right? How does it go? I was. Uh... Arg! I'm putting black pieces on black pieces. They're in between black pieces, and it's not. So okay. This is what a Tuscan Raider hut looks like. If you guys didn't know, Star Wars doesn't show us these because that's what a Tuscan Raider little hut looks like. I would totally live in one of these in the desert. Look at that. Yeah, they got they got it going on in there. Yeah, we'll put this guy right here, staring off in the distance, like, who the heck is this guy? Do -do 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 -do. All right, so we're going to build a Tuscan Raider uh, bike now, which I've never seen before. I've never seen these, uh, less than the Mandalorian. I have not passed, so I have to watch that. But that's going to be bag number three. That's where I'm at, is bag number three. Okay, so these three pieces go right along in here to cover up these colored pieces. Oh, that's my last bag. I thought I had four bags, but I guess bag three. So this is the last bag. Ooh, I'm sad. Yeah, there is kind of that sadness at the end of it. It's like, yeah, I like, I like hanging out with the, your, your chat and building Legos with you, my friend. I, I've accomplished this, but it's over now. Oh, Sarah, she's 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 a great she's a great enthusiast for um, 
first stuff, fun stuff. She's all uh, Batman versus Godzilla. Take my money now. Because, like, you know, Batman would use all of his money. Like, what would Batman do to stop Godzilla? Well, he'd probably have... Uh... Outsmart it? Outsmart it? Would he just use money? Technology? Because he's a detective. Well, the Adam West Batman would have something ready to go. It would be like, you know, some sort of radio frequency wave that would override the Joker's mental control. Oh, very creative. I like that. What does the chat think? I was trying to put a sticker on. Okay, so there is a script. I wonder if they were able... Oh, that would be fun, dude, to read the script and do, like, a character read. Yes, I was just going to say, let's get, you know, a bunch of guys together. We can get George in on that. Yes. That would be so much fun. Because it's... uh, uh, Yeah, that would be fun. Okay, so there's a... So what have you seen so far? What does the chat think? You like having the big Lego set that uh, RJ has as a... Like, you know, you get the one... Batmobile and then the two characters of more or more of the scenery set where you have um because it's about the same price right now thirty dollars you know and it's kind of cool I, I, I on the box it doesn't look this much fun but having the two pieces like this and knowing that there's a third piece coming in being built that that's a cool little scene like you can make a little movie Doo-doo-doo. have you ever tried that stop animation no no, it sounds fun, but um, I'm lazy, and um, I'm surprised how many hobbies you guys have. You know, if, you, if you just, <laughs> if all you need is a, a mount for your camera, and you just keep coming back and yeah, you move take it, some pictures and, and pictures and pictures. As long as you don't move the camera, it'll it'll come out looking pretty good. I've done it, uh, very small. I mean, I wasn't, you know, I was sh- trying to show my son how the concept of animation worked. Uh, and we made a Lego, you know, roll across the top of his dresser and wave and turn around and come back the other direction. That would be a fun intro to do a stop animation Lego set. That would be fun. I, you know what? That's exactly what I need to do. This show needs a stop animation Lego intro. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. That'd be that'd be that'd be really cool. We'll 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 What's we need to find thing? like. Um, we need to find like Lego minifigs that sort of kind of look like us. And just have them walk in from each side, uh, turn and wave at the audience, and have the logo drop down, and away we go. I like Sarah. He would outspend Godzilla. Victory by deeper pockets. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's a- Batman have a, a gorilla or Godzilla repellent spray. Yeah, I'm sure he would. <laughs> Yeah, he just like fly the around snow. with a helicopter like a buzzing bee. Oh, they didn't know if there was a copy if it was lost. That's what James. He's like, I don't know if it's possible if there's the script is lost and it's into the ether. Oh, that would figure. I bet somebody's got it. It's just not online. Mm-hmm. But somebody somewhere, maybe in the Sherwood Schwartz estate. Um, this is. This, oh, that's funny. This room was out of state. Yep. Okay. This has got to be done two times, two times, two times. So we got those two pieces. And where are the pieces they wedge into? There's a lot of detail. Dude, that's a nice set. There's a lot of detail there. I like it. Oh, man. I miss the old Batman stuff. Uh, it's gotten so dark. Uh, yeah, got too dark. I was watching Perk video today. They were um, looking. You know what? It's gotten so dark, but you can't go back. Because uh, I was watching that Perk video today, and they were reviewing Batman and Robin, the last of the um, Schumacher series, where yes. they tried to go camp. And it, it just, no. <laughs> uh, I... I just remember to double check my bag and look at that. Yeah, I am so good at throwing Legos away, guys. Never build Legos with me. If you do, stop me in the head. Like, dude, Jack, check your Lego bag, okay? Well, we know you by now. I'm, dub- I'm double checking my Lego bags, okay? There's proof. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, listen. So we have a we have a contract in the making, Mr. Yanafui. I'm going to make an intro, Jack. If you if if I return to be your co-host. Hey, so he's making a sh- he's making a he's making one for your show, but you know, not one for mine. Thanks, Yanafui. <laughs> well, he's not your co-host. <laughs> no, he's not. But... <laughs> we'll get you. We'll, we'll get Mr. Yanafui building Legos one day. One day, everybody in the chat will be building Legos. <laughs> we'll conquer the world one Lego at a time. Now we turn the grill into the radio antenna. Remember, the car had this this radar uh, mm-hmm. on the front. I remember the big CB antenna. Oh, did it have a spinning radar? Right there. Was that? What's that? That, well, that was for the telephone, dude. That it must be. have been for the telephone or the radar. You're right. I remember seeing a radar screen, out of, a blipping radar screen, like a um, like a okay. submarine would have. So here's a bit of trivia. <laughs> um, you, there, there were scenes in the Bat in, in the Bat Cave where he had up a map of Gotham City on on like glass. Um, yes. And you would see you were you were seeing Batman and Alfred through the glass, and there's the map of Gotham City, and there's uh, Batman. That was a real map. That's a map of St. Louis. Uh, and and I have the uh, the the GIF file that, that that shows it. It's like you know here's the here's the scene from the show, and then we slowly fade in the map of St. Louis, and then fade it back out. Hey, look, all the streets are there, the rivers are there. That's awesome, dude. Good catch. Good catch. I wonder why they used them. The, the, that map of St. Louis. I don't know. Why didn't they just use the New maps York? Use. That's funny. That, that's an interesting trivia right there. I wonder why. That's like the only glass map they could find. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the map said Gotham City. They had it printed up. They just. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. They had it printed up. Okay, so come on. Where do these pieces go when I get them? For some reason, dude, I'm feeling pressure to get this done faster because you have your, your your next show, and I'm going slower because I'm getting like <laughs> I can't find anything. I've got an hour. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm the one feeling the pressure. I'm like, you know, I gotta finish it. Oh. Right, because you gotta do, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's stuff to do before the next show. Yeah, I understand. Uh, brain work, brain work. Uh, oh. Okay, so this goes. Oh, there's gonna be something clips here, and I know what it is. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or knowing me, the piece is in the bag, in the box. <laughs> it's in one of the other bags. Yes. No, I'm trying to find the reverse of the hinge. The reverse of the hinge. So theirs would be light gray. That's what they usually do. Reverse hinge is light gray. Um, Never throw the box away until the project is complete. Yes. And two of those. And two of the gray ones. Okay, where are we going to put them? We're having it wrong. Oh, four gray ones. Stop there it is. Ta-da. Found it. And okay, Batman and Robin had none of the charm that the old series had. No, it didn't. That's a great point. And I don't like how they left it off uh, in the Dark Knight series with the uh, cop guy being being Robin, and they just left it there. Yeah, his real name was Robin. You know, I'm like, dude, like, I, I would have watched that. I would have watched a Robin film. I would have watched a Robin film. What's going on, guys? He would have had to become Nightwing, though, wouldn't he? I mean, he, he never had a chance to be Robin. There was oh, never a good. kid that's sidekick. That's a freaking good point. They messed Oh, wow. I, I didn't know that lore. Holy crap. They messed up. <laughs> I just want to entertain it. That, that, that's more than a rumor, James Hayes. I, um, I got to listen to Van Williams at a convention talking about that. And during the scenes, because, you know, Burt did all his own stunts, so yeah, when he's crawling over an alligator pit, he's crawling over an alligator pit. Um, yeah, I remember that. 
they would they would the director would call action and Bruce would just like <clears throat> and and Bert's like call him off call him off call him off. <laughs> Miss Yonafui, this is a transaction. Nothing free from now on. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good chat. This is funny. Good day. I've I've met a lot of great people on YouTube. I say met. I've not met any of you guys, but I feel like I know y'all. Right. Right, right, right. I, yeah. I call it the YouTube tribe, the tribe, the internet tribe. And I know, you know, that there's there, there'll come the day when I'm going to piss you all off and you'll get mad and cancel me. So I've, <laughs> I've been doing that lately. Everybody else. Holy crap. Watch out. <laughs> oh, Don't read the news, guys. Uh, not everything is true. Only about half. <laughs> this is kind of a cool concept. I like it. So they got a hinge with this a uh, a well, so it's a platform with a knuckle with a bone. I, I don't know how to extend this with the extension and with the, another knuckle, so it makes a foot. And you could totally make like insect legs. You could. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just like in a mock series. I could totally see like a bug series. Do you know what would be fun? Stormship stormship troopers for Legos because you have bugs. Yes. Then you have spaceships. And you have transport ships, and you have bases. Check out this piece. It's 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 layered plating. Okay, your piece is cooler than mine. Dang it! <laughs> no, it's, it's but it's a single piece. <laughs> what would that be used for? It's going to be used the for, the, for the trunk lid. Okay. So this is a it's like a speeder bike with insect legs. Interesting. Dude, that was so funny. Bruce Lee comes onto the set as a side character and just takes over the whole movie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Green Hornet. Well, what like, he was doing, what Green doing? Hornet. I'm the main character. He's like, no, 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 no. You guys got Bruce Lee? You get Bruce Lee. <laughs> yeah. I'm the star. Well, Van said that uh, when they were doing the Green Hornet a lot, when it wasn't time for Bruce to be on set, he'd be doing these, these high kicks. Uh, and what he was trying to do is he was trying to see how close he could get to the camera guy's ear without touching it, without the camera guy noticing it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. And they always told him, said, you know, cut that crap out because, you know, it's not safe. And he's like, I, I know what I'm doing. And sure enough, he said one day the guy, the camera guy turned as Bruce was kicking, yep. caught it right in the jaw. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, what's it call it? Um, Jackie Chan's got a story like that where Bruce Lee gave him a full hit and Bruce Lee felt bad. And he's like, oh, I just happened to be out of step, at just out of one foot step. And he gave me a full hit. And he's like, oh, dude. And then Jackie's like, I had to get back up for the scene. But, dude, I was I had no wind. <laughs> so so here's what they've given me with uh, with this. Uh, this is the this is the back back hood. It raises and lowers. There's a place to put extra Lego pieces. <laughs> That's what I've got. <laughs> All my extras in the trunk of the Batmobile. Well, I wonder where, I wonder where you're going to put there. Whatever I've got left like over. <laughs> it's gonna accessories go in from other bat, uh, bat theme sets. Yeah. Put your extra batarangs there. and. That's interesting. This is to hold everything together, I guess. Okay. Cool. Do that twice. So, dang. So, yeah, there's not much more Star Wars coming out pretty soon. Like I said, I'm going to get the the, um, the bigger Ultimate Collector set. That's the new uh, gunship. And after that, I didn't really have much Star Wars picked out. Well, have you go. seen any catalogs yet of what's coming for Christmas? Not yet. Not yet. I'll keep my eye open, though. I always check Lego, the Lego website, and try to keep up date with new Legos coming out. Because August is today, so I would expect. Mm -hmm. I would. I would. Uh, I know that some stores like Walmart were doing uh, early releases. 
so there is a chance to get some new stuff that was supposed to come out uh, August. It was you got you were able to get a couple days early. Yeah. And see, that's what I think this is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think I, I I really think this is an early release piece. So, oh, I know, I, I know, I know that the Marvel set they came out with a Thor, Thor shack. Where his, uh, um, where it's like a all themed up. They got three characters: Thor. Um, dang, why can't I remember the other two guys? The Stone guy and the Bug guy. I'm horrible right now with remembering names. But um, yeah, I saw that. As the Thor Thor set looks good, I'll probably end up getting that one. Building that, it's like it's like your uh, Big Bang Theory set, which is like it's a friend set kind of thing. Yeah. Which like a it's like an open room, not like a building, like a corner room. So that looks cool. Wait for them to build the uh, the Avengers sh- after battle shawarma set. What? They have that scene? No, I said I'm waiting for them to do that. Oh, that would be a cool scene, dude. Good idea. Yeah, really cool idea. Simple. You get a lot of minifigs. Yeah, I would totally buy that one. So, so the book is still thick, and I feel like I'm really coming on to the end of it here. But No, I don't have much left from my book. Well, I, you're right. The book is thick. That's weird. Maybe there's a story or something in the back? Oh, oh you know, I, there's the list of all the Lego pieces. Yeah, that's what it is. Cover the blue with this Absolutely. black panel here. I wonder if I'm going to get the license plate. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. I don't have flame. I don't have a flame. I've got flames at home. I'll get a flame. You don't have flames, guys. You don't have flame. I'll steal, I'll steal a flame out of the back of that so Ghost Rider car. shape. Yeah, that's an interesting thingy. Oh, okay. So check this out. There's there's the uh, red trim fins on it. Now. They opened. Did, did it originally do that? Um, Either way, that's cool. I think it's... It didn't really originally do it. I think it's just meant to say, okay... Fan it out now because that's how it was. It, it was kind of fanned out a little bit. I like it. Now this is interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Where did these two pieces go. Where did these two pieces go? I would say these are actually really good sets for what we paid for them. That's what I would say. Oh no. All right. So this. Oh no. Goes right her. Goes right here. How have I done it again? Interesting. Interesting. It's an honor to be clouded. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. I saw that. So Lego has a. Um, uh, James Hayes is talking about the Lego Architect sets, and they have a Sydney Opera House Lego set. That yeah. is a beautiful looking set. Um, I uh, it's a cool looking building. Wow, like that's a it's it's pretty cool when people decided to build things that are just not normal square buildings. So, I know that um, when a building's not yeah when they don't maximize it for, for more for most square footage. It's always cool. No, I have not gotten any of the Lego Architect sets, even though I, I see I, I have my eye on them. They are uh, itching and buying those because I've seen some of the uh, city scenes where it has like the mini city of New York City, um, some of the lands, um, like the Eiffel Tower. I know that one. I was at the uh, St. Louis Science Center last week, uh, and they had. Uh, a le- in, in a big glass case, a Lego architecture of the St. Louis Arch. Oh, cool! It was it was not as smooth as I would have expected it to be. It was very um, it looked <laughs> like it was done with Lego. Yeah, 
Yeah, sometimes Legos uh, had a lot more stair step uh, to it than smooth arching. It, this is a cool design, but more like I feel like I need this needs to be a cross. It is a crossbow. I forget this is a crossbow. That's a big crossbow. Well, okay, so it comes with two little plastic arrows. And I know that this trike here doesn't shoot them. This little land speeder, or yeah, I guess it's a. I don't know what to call that. Because it doesn't really. Anyways, this doesn't shoot it. So this has got to shoot the arrows. And from the top view, it looks like a crossbow. You know what I mean? Like it has this winding area here. So it does look like a crossbow. Thank you, Lego, for not making me do this with stickers. Here's a yeah. tire. Here's the hubcap that's going to go on that tire. Oh, nice. Have you got oh. hubcaps for your tires? You're fancy, bro. It's got it's got well, it's got the little red bats on them. Mm -hmm. I'd had to put <laughs> if I'd had to put stickers on a button, I'd have been. Yeah, I might have to miss those. On the Ecto One, it, it, it asks you to put like dirt stickers on there. It's like, why would I want to make my brand new Lego look dirty? Well, because I guess in the movie, the new one, it's going to look that way. I yeah, saw, I finally saw the trailer uh, this week where the side door opens and the seat swings out. Yes. So, what do you think? I, I, I want to see it. It doesn't look as entertaining as the original Ghostbusters. It doesn't look as bad as the new Ghostbusters with the comedian girls, ladies. Um, but it, it doesn't looks look like, like a comedy, but it looks like something I would I would enjoy watching more. It reminds me of the Goonies. That's the first thing I think of. Kid Adventure, Goonies. Yeah, I, I got a very Stranger Things vibe off. Of course, you know one of the kids is from Stranger Things, but mm -hmm. I have not seen that yet. But I, I, that's what I'm hearing. I hear that that's a common uh, common senses. Ooh, one of my one of my extra pieces is a bat hubcap. Okay. I'm gonna have an extra piece of something. That's one I would mind would not mind having. So um I have a game. That's interesting you say that. Um I think there is a couple of the Lego creators on YouTube that are uh, into Minecraft. I know I think MR Productions he is a Minecraft uh, uh, stream. There are a couple of them. I personally have this game on um, Steam called Stormworks, which is kind of like Lego. It's like a Lego building game where you build, you make creations, like you engineer creations, and you test them out. Right now, it, there's a lot going on. There's too much for me. Holy crap! And then I uh, Roblox, Roblox. That's yeah. very similar. But you're right. I'm surprised it's not like hand in hand, where a streamer does both and just conquers both worlds. Dang it, dude! Forget about my coffee. It's just getting colder and not room temperature. Yeah, I, I want to throw I, in the microwave to make me happy. I'm surprised that coffee doesn't get like a turn to ice after a certain amount of time. <sighs> I want this. Anyways. Oh man, when I have leftover little yellow blocks, I start thinking, what did I leave out of the middle of the car? Mm -hmm. um, so. I'm, I'm wrapping it up here because I'm starting to get to the point where we're building the missiles to put into the firing cannons. Oh, my goodness. Yep, I'm in the same boat. Uh, looks like uh, I'm doing finishing touches. I'm running out of pieces. So it looks like we're, we're, we're doing pretty good pace. We might finish at close to the same time. Now, I, I like doing these one-day uh, build kind of things. Some of the, the bigger... You know, like the Millennium Falcons take two, two, uh, two streams. The Ecto One took two streams. Uh, the Mo, oh, the Daily Bugle. That's gonna mm -hmm. take like four streams. Yeah, you're gonna have to find good places to stop on that before you even start. So, what's Super Eight, Mister Yonafui? Do you know what Super Eight means? Yeah, uh, Super Eight's a great movie. Um, oh. it's exactly like the Ghostbusters thing. That's it's these kids were filming. Um. And it's an 80s themed, 80s set film. Uh, they were trying to just put together a zombie movie. Uh, and they go off to this, you know, area where there's a train yard because they wanted to get some ambient noise like trains going by. Mm -hmm. And there's this guy crashes the train right there. 
Uh, it turns out he's crashing it because it was a, a government uh, train going uh, on a secret mission, but made to look like a freight train carrying alien eggs or, or, or this, this alien creature. Mm -hmm. uh, and the alien creature is kind of like E.T. It just wants to get home, but it's like not like E.T. It's like as big as a kaiju. And it's, it's like, what? attacking the town for metal. People think it's killing people, but it's just sort of like putting them into these suspended animation cocoons to get them out of the way. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Super 8's pretty, pretty, um, pretty fun to watch. I wasn't expecting that story at all. All right. <laughs> wow, Here we go. Oh, wow, it spins. All right. Dang it, you beat me, sir. I like it. I like the spinning platform. Is that, that's what I'd like to get is a display stand. So when I do my Lego reviews after I build them, I'll have something to display it on. I'm trying to figure it. out what it's telling me here. You're not done. That's what it's telling you. <laughs> I guess not. I mean, okay. So it's like, here's a picture of the Batmobile. Move down, and you have a picture of Batman. What, what, what is different, guys? Um, okay, what? Where's this picture oh, at? Oh, oh, I see. I can, um, okay, it's it's very subtle. The hood. I can take the cannons out, and I can smooth out the hood. You can That's take what some the of these cannons. expertise is here for. Where's the cannon at? Uh, the cannons are right, oh, okay. right here in the Oh, in the so it's like they are collapsible cannons. Yeah, except they don't they collapse. You actually take them out, and then you put these... Uh, other smoothing out pieces in there. Is it easy to take out? Kind of is. Okay, because yeah. that would be a pain in the butt if you had to start taking things apart, just to remove the cannons. Um, kind of. No, no, no. Actually, it's not easy, because now I remember there's a layer behind the cannon. It's an L shape, and there's this black piece is latched over on. It. So mm -hmm. no, guys, um, it's not that easy. So what are you going to go with, smooth hood or cannon hood? Well, I guess I'm going with the cannon hood now because it's together. Yeah, I guess I'm going with cannon hood now. <laughs> but I know where I'll keep the extra pieces. Uh -huh. Just pile them in the trunk. Extra pieces. All right, I'm going to take great. the bat for battering out of Batman's hand here. No, I always have extra sets of pieces in my Legos. Like, for example, this is my little Lego bin from the sets I've built on my show and other people's show that I'm collecting. These are all extra Legos um, that I have right now. And then I have another little one. These are just little tiny things. It's empty right now. Though. And then I'll show you what Lego extra Lego pieces I have. And then there's options like what, um, what um, Critical Blast is running to, where you have an option of either doing a smooth hood or a uh, cannon hood, or different designs. Like for example, there's three and one Legos. We had the option of building like a car, a building, or like a flying uh, uh, vehicle. Yeah, know what you want before you start. <laughs> yeah, and so you you end up with the lighthouse, but the, the lighthouse doesn't need parts that the car needs. And for example, you know, so there's always chances of uh, extra bricks or. I haven't run into it yet, missing bricks, but I believe RJ has. He said he bought a he bought a Lego set that had a hole in it and it was missing a bag, so Lego sent him a bag. Lego's as very soon, good about replacing missing bricks. Yeah, yeah, as soon as possible. All right, there it is, complete with passengers. Um, I'm going to take off the. Oh, here I'll just leave it here for a second. And I will remove that camera from the stream. Oh, that's funny. Complete also. Also complete. Bam. Now this is, so this this is, is not much moved on this base because it lifts off real easy. So it is a crossbow. I thought it was another flying uh, slant speeder. But according to the picture, you can see the uh, Tuscan Raider here. Oh, yeah. And then using it as a crossbow but what i looked like for me because i thought that maybe these were propellers or something uh and then these were you know that's beat and then it was, oh i shot you guys <laughs> the instructions tell you never, don't do yeah, never never go shooting with me you might get shot <laughs> so so here we are finished product 
So I'm going to show yeah. you guys again. With the, uh, oh, the wow. hood cannons okay. lifted up. Wow, that's nice, dude. That's nice. That's real nice. Look at that, guys. Look at that chat. And it's got the parachutes in the back, yeah, because it had the it had the jet engine, the smoky engine that didn't make it really go fast. It just hit fast forward. Great, great stuff. Okay, so, and this to give you an example is what I have left in my Lego set. So usually they, what they do is they'll kick, they'll send you an extra uh, shooter because it's common to lose your extra dart. So I have a large dart. So I got two darts. Uh, this would have been a piece to the staff, uh, extra piece, I got extra sp spindle here, so just a handful of extra pieces, an extra flame for the, uh, over here, I, I guess I could add these in, add more detail to my little hut, so this is the set, I have a crossbow, which fires, which is cool, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. fires from the center, uh, stands by itself, I have a little hut with my Tuscan Raider. It opens up to a stage, which is kind of cool. And then the it posts back up. Has a little fire. It has bones to go in this little pot. Cool little detail. And then I have my land speeder to go with it to make a scene. You give you full yeah, so screen I can make a little it. scene. I can make a little scene. With the Mando guy driving by. He's out of camera. There we go. Well, I guess he could fly over or something. I don't know. I don't, like, I don't have enough room. I don't have enough room. But yeah, so this is ugh, focus, focus, focus. Bada boom, bada bing. And that took, so 276 pieces took me two hours. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, so not, a, not the best pace, but it was a fun pace hanging out with you guys. There's the, uh, like I said, there's the full, full view of the Batmobile with the cannons lifted up because, damn it, <laughs> they didn't tell me that that was going to be an option at the beginning or I'd have left the cannons off. Um, I, I, I've just got the Joker riding along with him because where else am I going to put him um, for storage? And then it sits on this base. If you want to secure it or you just want to put it on your shelf and have... Um, the Marvel DC crossover uh, chase scene going on here. Yeah, this is the, the Ghost Rider spot. I like that. Yeah, I like that. You can't see Ghost Rider in there, but he's in there. I like the Spider-Man on top with his web shooters. That's that's cool. That's a good scene there. I had to put him somewhere. I'm like, well, he won't get lost if I put him here. This reminds me, uh, what was it, James Gunn? who said that he's pushing for a, for a, um, a DC Marvel crossover film. Hmm. DC, I've heard about that. Because he's been, that. he's worked with both franchises now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I've it happens, he wants that. to be the one to do it. But. Would you, would you, or would you watch it? I would definitely watch it. All right, I would watch it. It sounds fun. Sounds fun to me. And then what I'll do is I'll just go through, and I don't really have much of uh, organizing. I just put colors right now, colors together, colors and shapes. So. I just found out that if I line this thing up better, my Batmobile does snap into place better on this base. So mm -hmm. it's going to—it's not as loose as it was, and that's where it's going to sit now, right there on my little display base. I like the scale of it because it really matches up with the um, Ghost Rider set. So having those two next to each other, they—they they look like they're—they're they're set together. So yeah, it does. Like... So now where am I going to put it? I need. Sh okay, I'm going to be buying yeah, some shelves here soon. Yeah, you gotta watch out. There's actually a lot of vehicles attached to that theme, the Batman uh, 60 theories. Uh, that 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 theme right there. I've seen a lot of sets. I think I've seen four different sets, a whole I'm bunch of little looking. vehicles. So watch out. You can have a little play, play set going. Easy. Well, I want to check out that um, that website we discovered. There there were several sets on there that I would have easily bought, and I think if I go ahead and do it, uh, they've got the Disney Castle. Yeah, that might be the one I go for first. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, I don't know, maybe. Um, so the chat, you didn't know, we found this website. <laughs> it's selling like these ultimate Lego sets for like 40, 50 bucks. Yeah, and, and they're these like, are hard like to find. 
yeah, they're hard to find. They're rare, and they're I, we don't know. They're it's a foreign country, and they're like we know what I don't know. What what I'll do is what I'll do is instead of using my credit card, I'll go to Walmart and buy a Visa gift card. There you go. Instead of using my credit card, so just in case it is shady, it's gift card money. That's you know, and gift card information. The only thing they'll have is my uh, home address and my name. So there you go. And uh, James, yes, uh, I have I have built Lego lights um, models for we. I've done a Christmas village that came with a Lego light piece in it. Uh, but if you weren't here last two weeks ago when we did this, we do this every two weeks. Uh, I'm gently pulling it down here. We did the the Big Bang Theory apartment. Yes, look how cool this set is, guys. Like look at all the detail. Um, a lot of minifigs, a lot going on here. It's very popular, popular, popular. Yeah. So, so there's everybody in there. Uh, I bought a uh, $15 light kit. It's on its way. So two weeks from now, when we do this again, uh, I'm going to be doing a rebuild on this, uh, just to taking it apart to the part to the point where I can, uh, start putting the lights in. Hello? I am concerned. I am concerned though. Does that involve damaging Legos to drill holes and stuff? Mm, I hope not. I, I, I don't know how they you got You know what I, I mean? Like, how do you wire? Are you, 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 I'm like, oh, like you might have to drill, like get a Dremel set to put holes I wouldn't be in opposed Legos. To that. I yeah, I would... that'd be cool. Like, I've seen the sets. I have actually never uh, watched a YouTube video of it being installed. I've only seen the advertising. And on the Star Wars ships, they look awesome. Oh, I bet. Star Wars, yes. Like, for example, Millennium Falcon all lit up and the Imperial Star Destroyer all lit up. Looks freaking awesome. Well, the kit that I'm getting is specifically uh, geared to this Lego build. So it'll come with the instructions on how to put each light where and how to wire it up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not like I'm just getting lights and I'm like, hey, I'm going to put them in here. Um, so I bet, you know, if you start looking up Star Wars light kits, Star Wars Lego light kits, you'll find one. Uh, specifically made for you know whatever you're wanting to build and with the instructions on how to you know which which light to put in first so that the cable all flows correctly uh, and they're little leds so okay so now did you get that off amazon real easy to find you just you, what, are, what are the keywords you're searching to find uh you just type in your lego set and then you type in lights uh yeah i mean here if i were to like what, what do you got you got that lego star destroyer yeah i got the imperial destroyer so it's seven five two five two now i don't know if you guys will be able to see this check i don't hopefully you can you see look at all the minifigs in the uh in the daily bugle like look at like look at all, all these figurines i'll be getting and having to build let me give you full screen. I was, I'm sorry, I had a screen pulled up here. It's hard because the box is so big. So we got Spider Man, Sandman, Black Cat, Green Goblin, Carnage, Venom. Oh, we'll go this way, it's reverse for me. Construction Worker Dude. No, Amber Grant. Spider Ham. No way, I get Spider Ham? You got Spider Ham, man. Dr. Octopus. You got his amazing friends. Yep, Firestar. Bernie the cab driver. Dude, this set is going to be so much fun to build. Where is there... Is 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 there a Stan Lee Lego minifig? Uh, I don't think so, but you know they should have added one. They should have. That should be a Blade. collector's item somewhere. Blade's in there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you got the... You got the uh, the Marvel Knights, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be built pretty soon. I'm going to open the box up and everything on the channel. So it's just too big right now to show the whole box on screen. It's just too much. It's huge. I don't know. I think it's like, I don't know. It's huge, dude. Yeah, 3,772 pieces. Whoa. Do you see what I mean? Talk about taking your Lego set to another to another level. Now this is made for the Super Destroyer, so this is probably not the kit you had. This is the one zero two two one kit, the one before mine. I like that. I like I like that one. 
I was looking at some of the pictures on it here. Uh, look at the back end of that thing. Oh, man. Like, talk about geeking out. I'm a nerd. That's a lot of light. Uh, $118 if you wanted to get that one. What would, Now, what was your kit again? Uh, mine's the Imperial Destroyer. Not the oh, okay. Super, the Imperial. Let me uh, redo my search here. Star Wars Lego Imperial Destroyer. Oh, God, you're going to get a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. So let me see here. Because the Imperial Destroyer is a smaller ship, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think it's just lit up either. It's one of the ones, bef you know, it's one of those ones that it's like, yeah, see, it doesn't have that much like area to light up, but it's still, it's cool. Oh, you can do the whole red, red, yellow, green option. That would be cool. Yeah, that that's would only be forty-nine dollars. Cool. That's totally, yeah, that's totally doable. Well, this is a slow loading site. You got brightness options? Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. Definitely. So Definitely. I will, uh, I'll let you know when my light kit comes in and what the heck, I'm, 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 I'm just going to have to try that side out. Like you, like you said, do it with a, with a gift card, uh, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm all right. My next yeah. set. I think I have in mind is either going to be Batman, the Thor set, or the ultimate, or the working on the Daily Bugle here with you guys. This one may be taking a long time on my channel. So yeah, yeah. Go ahead and share some share some time here. We were, <laughs> I would not mind watching you build that thing at all. In fact, I'll be tuning in to see you do it uh, when I'm not doing an own, my own show. So I've got one coming up in 15 minutes here. Uh, Wolfsbane is a comic that launched this morning, so we're gonna we're, we're his first show. Um, before the launch, so we're gonna go take, take a look at that. Thanks for bring, thanks for popping in today, Jack. I appreciate. It. I'm always uh, really stoked to be a guest here. Always stoked to build Legos with you and your your friends and your chat, your viewers. I appreciate that, and I'm really happy on the set that fun. you built. Uh, I I'm, I'm I'm pleased with both of them. I think we both had a lot of fun. We built some good stuff, uh, and and you know. This, this wasn't really uh, designed to be the, the RJ and Jack show. This is kind of open. So if uh, anyone in the chat here decides that they'd like to join in on the building fun, uh, we can host a lot of screens. <laughs> that would be uh, great. Just, just uh, you know, say, hey, I got a kit. Doesn't have to be a big kit. It can be a little bitty kit. Just you want to get in, um, let us know. Uh, we'll send you the link, and you can join the show right then and start building. So... With that, thank you everybody for showing up. Appreciate it. We don't have a show without a chat, so we, we're very happy that you're here. Uh, and as always, we just hope you had a blast.